2024 is going to be Tesla's biggest year ever. We're gonna get some huge upgrades, new features, some brand new discounts, but also, like typically with Tesla, it's not gonna be without some drama or some controversy because there's some bad news here as well. Tesla is making some new changes that go directly against their customers and owners are absolutely furious, I'll tell you why. And in this video, I'll sort of break down the six big changes Tesla is making in 2024. Let me tell you about the good news, the bad news, why owners are upset, and why this is gonna be a really exciting year for Tesla and why it's the best time and the worst time to get a brand new Tesla. Let me tell you everything you need to know about Tesla's big plans, their master plan for the new year of 2024. And also a huge thanks to Recurrent for sponsoring this video. So if you thought that 2023 was a very busy year for Tesla with the new Model 3 launch and the tax credits and all the discounts, well, be prepared to be surprised because 2024 is gonna be even crazier. This is the year we get some bold, big refreshes and also an all new Model Y refresh that people are going to love. But like I mentioned, there's also some bad news. We're losing incentives, we're losing discounts, prices are going up. It's sort of a mixed bag. There's a lot of good stuff and a lot of bad stuff, so Hold on to your wallet and temper your expectations because things are about to get a little crazy. One of the first big exciting parts of 2024 is Tesla's plan to finally roll out the Model 3 Highland refresh internationally in 2024 and bring that all new Model 3 to the North American market so customers in the US can stop buying the old Model 3 and finally get behind the wheel of one of these new ones. Objectively speaking, this new Model 3 is better than the old one in like every single way. It comes in two brand new colors for the Model 3. It's got this new design on the outside. It's got lots of comfort upgrades on the inside. We've got the new RGB ambient lighting, the better sound system, the ventilated seats, the better screen, the rear screen. It's going to be amazing. Tesla is bringing some competition to this landscape and really showing other EV manufacturers that they are in this for the long run and um, remaining competitive with the Model 3, which is very nice to see, especially as we get uh, new competitors sort of coming into the lineup every couple of weeks. But the good news does not stop there because in addition to the new Model 3, we've also got the launch of an all new Model 3 launching. We're hearing now in the beginning of the year and that is an all new Model 3 performance that is basically like a mini Model S Plaid. It's gonna be the best performance Model 3 we have ever seen, packing more premium features and performance than we've ever seen before. According to the latest rumors, this Model 3 performance might have a special ludicrous mode, might have a special ludicrous badge on the outside of the vehicle, Vehicle and also pack a more premium interior. You'd have new sports seats with better sportier bolstering. You'd have a new premium dashboard material and also sort of underneath, sort of behind the scenes, making all this sort of more powerful and more premium is potentially a plaid powertrain or a plaid motor bringing extra speed and extra performance to this new high-end Model 3. So the all new redesigned Model 3 is launching internationally all over the world next year. Also the new Model 3 Performance launching around the world next year. And then also making things even better is all of this stuff is also coming to the Model Y with the big Model Y Project Juniper refresh, the big Model Y refresh coming a lot sooner than we thought. A recent report from Bloomberg says that the Model Y Juniper refresh could be coming as soon as the middle of next year with mass production starting at Giga Shanghai towards March or April of 2024, which would bring this vehicle to us, at least in certain markets, a lot sooner than we originally thought, bringing these massive upgrades to Tesla's most popular car. And there's also been some speculation that maybe the Model Y refresh gets some extra special features that we don't have in the Model 3 refresh. For example, now that the Cybertruck has launched, maybe Tesla could bring the steer-by-wire system or the 48-volt architecture system over to Model Y Juniper. Maybe the Model Y refresh gets the new uh, larger rear screen. It gets uh, the bigger uh, front screen up in the front, and maybe it gets some of those extra Cybertruck goodies in this new refresh since now that the Cybertruck is out and that stuff is sort of available to Tesla, they could bring it to their most popular model. But while this new Model 3 and Model Y refresh and rollout are gonna be super exciting for 2024, I also should sort of talk about the bad news and that's gonna be pricing because pricing on these models is likely to change in 2024 and probably not in the direction you want it to go. 
Tesla has been steadily raising prices of their models over in China over the last couple of months. And the Model 3 Highland, when it launched uh, sort of in certain markets around the world, launched with a price increase anywhere from 2% to 12%. So when the North American launch does happen and we get this new Model 3 in the US and Canada and other places, do expect the price to go up a bit, maybe by a little or maybe by a lot, depending on how Tesla feels they want to do price adjustments with the launch of this new model uh, now internationally. And along with what will likely be higher prices, Tesla's also losing one of its biggest incentives and biggest discounts in 2024, and that is the pretty good $7,500 federal tax credit that will no longer exist on many of their models in the new year. Tesla's already confirmed that the standard range rear wheel drive Model 3 and the long range Model 3 will lose every single dollar of that federal tax credit. It's not being discounted, it's not being halved, it's gone completely on those models, and it's it's looking more and more likely by the day that it's also going to be going away for the Model Y as well. At least the standard range and long range Model Y are likely going to see a reduction in their federal tax credit, maybe halved to 3750 or maybe like the Model 3, they're just gone entirely. We don't have specifics on that just yet, but like I said, it's looking likely that it, um, well, it's looking likely like it's not going to be good news for those two Model Y models. Now we have seen some last minute changes to qualifications in the past, so there is a chance that we get some good news and the tax credits are back. But as of right now, I believe the only Teslas that sort of we know are safely going to qualify for the full amount of the tax credit are going to be the Model X long range, basically the base Model X. And I believe the Model 3 performance and Model Y performance will both qualify for at least some of the federal tax credit going into 2024. This is sort of a moving target, so it's hard to tell exactly what's going to happen. But um, if you're looking for a standard range or long range version of the 3 or the Y, be prepared to to lose any kind of federal tax credit in the new year of 2024, I'm sorry to say. Getting back to the good news though, one of the other things to be super excited about and to look forward to from Tesla in 2024 is going to be a lot of big software features we could see in every single model of the lineup. Now, Tesla just released the big holiday update with Apple Podcasts, the high fidelity park assist, all that stuff is all well and good, but that's just the beginning of what Tesla has in store for us and hopefully we get some more consistent feature packed updates to our cars in the new year. Now I'm sure I, like many of you watching this video right now, are probably around your friends and family for the holidays, and probably if you're like the EV person in your family, you're getting a lot of questions like these three big ones. It's how do you keep an EV battery healthy and sort of keep track of range? How do I make sure I'm buying a good used EV? And also if I wanna sell my EV, how does that process work and how do I get good money for a healthy battery? Those are all really good questions. Chances are you're tired of answering them all, but if you're looking for a good resource, a place to point your friends and family to that can answer all these questions plus so much more, I've got that place, the one destination, that of course is this video's sponsor, Recurrent. And personally, one of my absolute favorite offerings from Recurrent is this totally free monthly battery report that's gonna come to your inbox every single month and break down really important EV data in a way that's super easy to understand. You can see your range, your predicted range with your current sort of battery health. You can see how your battery charging habits are either helping or hurting your battery in the long run. And even how things like weather and temperature sort of as the seasons change, we either go hot or cold depending on where you are in the world, are going to affect the sort of real world range you get in your vehicle. Recurrent is breaking all this down. They've got the experts there to really do a deep dive in this data. They're giving the power of data to you. And again, breaking it down in a really easy way really lovely to read this every single month. And again, did I mention, let me say it again, totally 100% free. I also love that if you're in the market for an EV, not only does Recurrent have a really great tool to sort of make sure that the uh, vehicle you're looking at is going to qualify for the ever-changing federal tax incentives and credits, but also they've got a great way to sort of run a one-time report if you want to pop in the VIN and see how the battery on that vehicle is. If you want to make sure you're sort of getting as good of a car as the dealer may say, use their free tool and Look at the data for yourself. And finally, if you've got an EV right now and you're looking to sell it, maybe move to a different vehicle, maybe upgrade to a different EV, Recurrent has got you covered in that area as well. They're gonna help you maximize your sale of your EV and potentially earn you more money for having a healthy battery. In a couple of simple clicks, they're gonna get you connected to dealers that really understand the value of a healthy EV battery and present you with offers. Just offers you can accept or ignore, no obligation, no junk mail, no spam, nothing like that. I love Recurrent, I know you're gonna love them as well. 
well. So if you want to learn more, check out Recurrent for yourself today. Check out all they're doing and also sign up for that totally free monthly battery report. It takes like 60 seconds to do. Really simple. Hit the link down below to learn more and check out Recurrent for yourself today. We're hearing from the Tesla rumor mill right now that there are a number of new features we should be seeing on our Teslas all models, hopefully, in 2024. One of the big ones is AirPlay, so the ability to AirPlay video and audio from your phone, your iPhone or iPad, to your big screen, your Tesla, should be coming as a new feature. We know Tesla is actively working on this right now. Spatial audio should also be coming to give you a more immersive experience in your Tesla vehicle. Uh, Tesla's also working on a Waze-like navigation feature. Basically, we already saw this in the holiday update, but uh, red light cameras and stop signs and other obstructions on the road are going to only increase in the new year. And basically, if you like Waze but want that with your Tesla and sort of have a Tesla exclusive feature, that should be coming as a new update in the new year 2024. Tesla's made a lot of progress on this, and according to leaked code and rumors, it's only going to become more like Waze as we get more updates next year. It's also looking increasingly likely, like in the beginning of the year, we'll get the launch of FSD version 12. This is the new, totally reworked autopilot full self-driving system that uses neural nets and AI to be more accurate and hopefully give a smoother experience. It's been teased by Elon for a while as being really good, so hopefully it's something we see very soon. And also Elon has teased a couple of new auto park features, basically the ability to pull into a parking lot, tell your Tesla that's the spot you want to have your car park at you jump out and then the car parks itself we've heard lofty promises like this before so i can't confidently say it's going to happen or not but elon says they're working on it it's close to being done so hopefully it's a new feature we see in the new year and then i'm going to keep talking about this next one because it's continuing to come up in the rumor mill over and over and over again and that is a tesla app store we've heard for years now tesla is working on their own app store they're going to allow third-party developers to make apps and distribute them on our teslas as soon as I've got more info on this, I will let you know, but it looks likely 2024, hopefully, is the year we finally see this come to our Teslas. All right, hate to do it, but I'm moving from good news over to bad news again, and that is another change Tesla is planning to make in 2024 that a lot of owners are not happy about at all, and that is the official opening of the supercharger network over to other EV makers. Starting in 2024, Tesla is opening up the network, handing the keys over to other automakers. Specifically in February, Ford is going to gain access to the supercharger network, and um, any new Ford that has an NACS port on it is going to be able to drive up, plug in, and get access to the network. And again, I've heard the critics on this. I know I read your comments below. There's a good and a bad to this. Yes, we're accelerating the green energy movement, and the more EVs, the merrier, and all that's well and good. But also, as a Tesla owner, this was one of the big reasons I bought my car. Many owners bought this for this perk of having exclusive access to the supercharger network, which is no longer going to be the case. And I guess it sort of depends on where you live, whether they're crowded or not. But at least in my experience, Superchargers are already very congested and adding more options for other EVs to join in is only going to make them more crowded. So just keep in mind that in 2024, superchargers will likely get hit harder. They're going to be more active and used by other EV makers, and they're no longer going to be only for Tesla vehicles. So uh, the supercharger network will open next year for better or for worse, likely for worse if you're a Tesla owner who likes their exclusive access to those fast chargers. Not anymore. All right, moving from that back to some good news is that 2024 might be the year we learn more about the Model 2. This is the cheaper, like $25,000 mini Model 3. It's basically Tesla's new entry-level vehicle that, according to Elon, is going to be very utilitarian-focused. It's a no-frills car, gets you from point A to point B, and from the rumors we've heard, is cyber-themed or Cybertruck-inspired. Not like a mini Cybertruck, but like very utilitarian and unlike anything else on the road we We've seen so far. Obviously, we know Tesla is very interested in getting this to as many people around the world as possible. It's going to be built at Giga Texas and also Giga Mexico and also Giga Berlin. I don't know if that's sometime next year or the year after, but it's going to be being built at all these factories uh, sort of in the immediate future and will be the basis of Tesla's robo taxi uh, hardware as well. That this car will be able to be transformed from a car you could buy and drive as a traditional vehicle to a driverless pedalless steering wheelless car that'll drive you around in hopefully according to Tesla the not too distant future. 
Also, 2024 will, of course, be a big year for the Cybertruck as well. The production should ramp up in the new year. Deliveries should ramp up. And if you placed an order of a Foundation Series, you should hopefully begin uh, your delivery window, hopefully sometime soon, depending on the model. We're looking at all-wheel drive, long-range models going up for delivery first. And then Cyber Beast, I think it's sometime in early to mid-2024 for those early models. So Cybertruck should be a big part of Tesla's plans moving forward, a big part of the year in 2024. And production and deliveries will ramp up in the new year so if you've got one on order and you're looking to take delivery those should be happening very very soon and one more important point on some bad news for 2024 is that tesla is removing a lot of features from their vehicles in the new year and these are features that i think many are extremely upset about and i think i you know, rightfully so, kind of ridiculous. Obviously, Tesla is all in on the stockless system. So if you're a fan of stocks, you're not going to be happy because none of the new vehicles have this. They're all going to be controlled from the touchscreen and all those uh, physical controls are moved onto the wheel. So that's one thing that people are not going to be happy about. And also Tesla is going to go back to, according to rumors, software locking features on their base entry level cars that if you wanted to access those features, you'd have to pay additional money in order to unlock them. Not because the cars would need any physical hardware adjustments, but just because Tesla can get a little bit more money out of their owners. So things like heated wipers, heated seats in the front, heated seats in the back would be behind a paywall and something you have to pay to access uh, for your new standard range model, which isn't exactly good news. And also just so you're aware, the rollout of these refreshes are going to be a little weird in the new year. Like I said, we're hearing that right now there's going to be a Model Y refresh mass production uh, kickoff, so to speak, at Giga Shanghai in the middle of 2024, but that's all we've heard right now. Maybe it just launches in the Chinese market first and then comes to North America, what, in 2025? The rollout of the new Model 3 has been extremely confusing. It's been out since, well, I guess it was announced in September. It's, I think, delivery started in October, November for international markets, and it's still not even a blip on the radar in North America. So it's just been very weird to see that strategy. And um, that could be the case for Model Y as well. So as excited as I am to see what the Model Y could offer and see what that refresh is going to bring, keep in mind that while it could begin production in 2024, it may not come to the North American market until 2025. So just temper your expectations because Tesla is known for doing weird things for no particular rhyme or reason. And now we get to the part of the video where I get to tell you two things. One, thank you very much for watching. Your guys' comments always mean the world to me. I can't reply to every single comment, but I read all of them. And to see the level of care and attention and the thankfulness from a lot of you guys is really uh, heartwarming to see. So first off, a really big thank you for supporting me. This is my last video for 2023. So a really big thank you for you guys for an amazing year. It was so nice to connect with so many of you. I got to have so many great emails and private conversations and comments and just, you guys are amazing. So thank you so much for your support. Um, it means a lot to me, my wife, my daughter. We all benefit um, from your support on this channel. So thank you so much. I could not do any of this without you. So thank you for support. And also this is the time of the video that I get to ask your opinion on things. And I want to know if you had the chance to request one feature from Tesla in 2024, one change to pricing, one change to colors, one feature adjustment, what would you want to see from Tesla in 2024? What is one thing if you could talk to Elon and say, hey, do this, what would that ask or request be? Let me know in the comments down below. And I'm going to be doing some Amazon gift card giveaways to you guys as a thank you for your support. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below. Also, if you didn't know, I have a free Tesla newsletter that goes out every single week at teslanewsweekly.com. I've got a great group of supporters over there. You guys are amazing. But if you didn't know, I do send that email. Out. It's totally free. My wife and I work on it together. It's like a, a team effort uh, and it's been really fun. So if you didn't know, that's linked down below as well. Thank you guys so much for your support. Check out the newsletter. Check out other videos on this channel. I appreciate your support. You guys are amazing. Thank you for a wonderful 2023. Happy New Year to you all. And I'll be back here in just a matter of days to kick off the new year for 2024. Thanks guys, you're amazing. I'll see you in the next one.